octopus barf. I wish I was a zombie so my nose would fall off. After we dump it in the moat, I'll help you clean it out. You gotta hand it to Thatch. No one pulls a practical joke like him. There's nothing more disgusting than a helpful, friendly ghost. Let's go tell the headmasters that Casper's helping. They'll probably give him detention for the rest of his afterlife. Good idea. Hey, I just realized something. That you'll never be incredibly clever and sneaky like me. No, that I ain't very good at hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> You better be careful, Casper. You don't want Alder and Dash to catch you being nice. You're forcing it. Of course I'm forcing it, you peck pigeon. What else am I supposed to do? Send it an engraved invitation? Whoa, Cappy needs help. But... Thank ye, Casper. This had better be good. It is, sir. I saw Casper right here, helping. What's going on? <laughs> Where were you when Ra was struggling with this heavy load? Mossy, tell him what you saw. Sorry I'm late for the ball. My pumpkin got held up in traffic. Ow! Wait, what? No! Ah. Ah. Oh, man, Ra, I'm so sorry. I guess when I see someone who needs help, I jump right in. I can't help it. Well, you better learn to help it, or you're gonna get your transparent butt whooped. Don't worry. My uncle's had an idea to help me kick the habit. Every time I help someone, I have to put a pebble in the me jar. I can't take it out until I have done something for myself. Where is this me jar? In a closet. Come on, Casper, that won't work. You never do anything for yourself. Oh, really? As a matter of fact, this afternoon, I'm sneaking off to Deedstown to go see a magic show. All right. Go take a pebble out of that jar and have yourself a good time. And no helping. Where's the amazing Jimmy? Oh, we're gonna start. the show. If Casper's not here in two minutes, I'm gonna have to cut you in half. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. How do I look? Perfect. Thanks for helping. No problem. And no helping. Uh... You think I could take some of those pebbles? He's only ten! I've seen him four times this week and every time he gets better! I think we found our TV special! Sleeping in. <gasps> That's good for at least one me pebble. Get me out. Hold still. Stop buzzing. What happened? That thought it'd be funny to stick Flyboy inside me. <laughs> He's gonna help and I'm gonna nail him. Hang on, you guys. <laughs> Whoa! You okay? I've had my head stuck in worse things. Helping two people. Guess I need another pebble. Casper, you have a problem way worse than a bed full of octopus barf. I'm emptying it. Slowly. You have to cut out all this helping. It's not that hard. Just say no. Help me! <laughs> No? You're right. I can do it. With your help, I'm gonna empty the mead jar. Excuse me. Ball! <laughs> this
This isn't gonna be easy. That's just like rude. Village with torches. He's having another nightmare. Casper, open the door. Villagers, villagers. Door. how out of control I was. I can't thank you guys enough. You're so welcome. Could you pass me the mustard? Nope, sorry. Huh? Hey, that's another pebble out of the mead jar. Listen, some of the guys have wired up the crystal ball to pick up fleshy television shows. I'm gonna hang out tonight, watch some TV, get rid of my last pebbles. Could you go to Deeds Town and tell Jimmy I can't help with his show? Thanks a bunch. He's got a lot of nerve. It's our own fault. We've created an unhelpful monster. Don't just sit there. Pass me a napkin. He's what? It's kind of our fault, but he's not coming. Not coming? He's the whole show. He is? And this is a live television special. As in, seen by millions? All I know is card tricks and pouring milk in a hat. Doctor, you mean you're going to have to remove his neck? <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. I've seen this one like a thousand times. Where's the remote? <gasps> Is it the seven of clubs? <laughs> Next, I will pour some milk in a hat. <laughs> Oh, man, this guy's dying. <laughs> hey, Casper. Where are you going? For my next trick. You mean your first trick? Poor Jimmy. I can't watch. Huh? Sorry, guys. I couldn't stay away. It cost me a pebble, but I can't let a friend down. <laughs> hey, amazing Jimmy. <gasps> I'm the boy you picked out of the audience completely at random earlier. Why don't I step up on this invisible chair? Huh? 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 Wow! Ah! If the folks in the front row will kindly blow towards the stage. <sighs> Tell him before it falls off. Whoa! Oh, look. Uh, my my assistant coming from a costume party. <laughs> TV show. They are so busted. What trick will you be assisting me with first? My costumed assistant? Casper's disguise. What about it? Do me a favor and toss me back to that mummy up there. <laughs> No doubt you're all aware of the events of last night. A student brought things to our attention, and we couldn't have been more upset. We've got some major punishment coming here. That we weren't there to enjoy it in person. 
Ah! A group of students pulled off a scare so meticulously planned, so brilliantly executed and daring. We regret we can only present them with medals. That worked out better than I expected. Just keep the helpful thing under wraps from now on, okay? No, don't, Casper. Sirs, let me get that for you. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that plus a pebble or minus a pebble? I hope you have a great time at Misery Land. It's the unhappiest place on Earth. Is that all gonna fit in your suitcase? Hmm, no problem. I use this. You salt it and eat it? Ha ha ha, it's shrinky dust. Yeah. Wow! Stretch borrowed it from the science lab years ago when we were at scare school. Don't forget the expander flakes to turn everything back to normal. Yeah, I don't want a repeat of what happened last time. Grilled raisin, anyone? Pink to shrink, black to grow back. You're not supposed to take it out of the underworld ever, ever, for any reason, ever. So we only took about half a pound. Mm. Now, Casper, don't worry about anybody breaking in while you're house-sitting. I turned on the new security system I invented, so there's no way anybody's gonna steal anything. I should go. Jimmy and I are going to the movies. Have a miserable time. Hey, what if we want our favorite food while we're gone? Here's that pizza place we like. Hey, Jimmy. Let's go. Uh, can't. My dad says I've got to rake and bag all these leaves before I can go. I'll help you. Mutant alien circus freaks 2 starts in an hour. We'll never make it. If only we had some sh... Some sh... what? Nothing. No, you were going to say something. Shampoo, shawarma, shrimp with lobster sauce. Shrinky dust, all right? It's a magic powder my uncles have that makes things small. Awesome. Go get it. I can't. We're never supposed to use it ever, ever, ever. You've been talking about seeing this movie all week. I hear it's even better than the original Mutant Alien Circus Freaks. All right, just this one time, but my uncles can't find out I took it. I promise, we'll be real careful. Okay, here goes. Oh man, I can't believe I spent all morning raking this. Here, I'll hold on to that for you. Let's go. Wait, money. <gasps> what do you mean you don't have any lunch money? It's Saturday. Uh, I hate weekends. Nobody has anything to steal. Not exactly a dirt bike, but somebody will miss it. <laughs> hey. Bag of popcorn. my pocket. You saw me. If it's not inside, it must have fallen out before we went in. <laughs> uh 
Uh-oh. <laughs> Norman's been here. If he's got the shrinky dust, we're in big trouble. Hello, little child's tricycle. Shrimpify! Hello, little girl with a toy stroller. Shrimpify. Oh man, this is great. I'm super bully. Norman, if you're happy, you must be doing something bad. I'm telling mom and dad. Oh yeah? Shrimpify. Gee, Bethica. I guess you're not my big sister anymore. <laughs> Where is he? We're definitely on the right track. And look. I never should have taken the shrinky dust. All this is my fault. Don't panic. We can still stop him. Come on. This wall will look great on my wall. <gasps> well, if it isn't Jimmy Bradley, town geek. You took something from my yard, Norman. I want it back. Sure, you can have it back. When you pry it from my huge sausage-like fingers. <laughs> yeah, It's time for the latest dance sensation. The cockroach stomp. Yeah! Just tall. I have basketball tomorrow. We'll be all right. We just have to get to my uncle's house and find the expando flakes. Bethica, I, I saw a real ghost. Was it incredibly angry and out for revenge? Like me? Yeah. Are we almost there? We've walked for hours and we've only gone 50 feet. We'll never make it to my uncle's house. Look! That's an RX-23 Aircat. I have one of those. Help! My sister's gone crazy. She's... A ghost! Norman, okay. Casper's a ghost, but he's friendly. Get in, unless you want to stay two inches tall forever. Getting what? Almost there. I thought you said there was no one here. Oh, I know what that is. It's just something my uncle's invented to scare burglars away. No, I am a scary ghost. Ooh. That's supposed to scare me? Lame. Uh, guys, we're two inches tall, and I think that's a vacuum cleaner. Brother's in there. We have to get him out in an hour or two. Don't worry, Norman. We'll get you out of there. Please don't leave me in here. It's dark <coughs> and lifty. Yes. That's 
it's better. Now for Norman. Yeah, now for me. Could I have a moment with him first? And? And I promise to never bully anyone on vacation or at the zoo or under the sea or on the moon. Okay, that's enough. My fingers crossed, sucker. I'm back and I'm better than ever. Whoa! Uh, uh, Sorry, Casper. This was all my fault. I was the one who bugged you to use that stuff for a shortcut. No, it was my fault for borrowing it in the first place. Whoa! Wasn't it your uncle's fault for taking it from the school? Who cares? I'm free. Free to bully and chase and annoy and bow. <laughs> Why are you guys home so early? We can vacation any time. Mutant alien circus freaks too just opened. Look what I found outside. Must have dropped it on my way out. Pretty careless of me. Don't be so hard on yourself, Uncle Fatso. After all, we all make mistakes. I can't believe we got everything re-expanded and still made it here for the last showing. Jimmy, the leaves are still in your pocket and you've got... Expando flakes on your hands. I'll get a rake. You get some popcorn buckets. Extra large. 